Hello everybody, this is Game Frost, and today we'll be doing another great tutorial video where today we are going to learn how to reduce CPU usage in Streamlabs OBS or SA aka Slobs. Now, I know you guys have been worrying, wondering why Slobs has been using a lot of CPU usage recently, and I have been having struggles too. And my hardware, um, currently, it really, it really doesn't support like really good stuff like it's not really up to par with slobs and that's why i have to put my cpu usage to the lowest so basically the first thing i do to reduce cpu usage i'm gonna show you right now um after i finish loading um it's basically reducing the cpu usage um using the slob settings uh, so if we go over here so it should pop up it's really slow so as you can see, it's using about 22.5%. Now it's yeah, somewhere in the 21-22% of CPU usage, which is terrible. Um, why Slobs is basically eating up a bunch of system resources is because, you know, it has like it has um, overlays and stuff. It has a lot of stuff, extensions and stuff. So the first thing I go is go straight to Advanced, and I go straight to Process Priority. And I tie, I mean, I put in below normal or idle. Now, if you put it to below normal or idle, you might um, see some, like, not drop frames. There's not going to be no drop frames, but you're going to lose maybe a little bit of FPS. It depends on your hardware. If you have, like, fast hardware, you're not going to lose any FPS, but you actually save um, your CPU um, usage. But if you put it, like, yeah, if you put it below normal or idle, um, you will have reduced CPU usage, but also... Um, you might um, um, reduce um, FPS. Uh, so the next we should go to, I believe it's video, and we go straight and we go to blend, blend near, nearer, fastest but blurry scaling, or you could try by cubic. Any of these two. Um, I could also change the FPS down to 30 because uh, my hardware, if I go like 60 FPS, there might be like um, a lot of CPU usage here and there. So the next thing we go, I believe, is uh, let me check output. So now we go to hardware. Now the now in order to make your stream fast, I suggest that you always use your graphics card, not your processor, because if you use your processor for your stream, um, it will go slow. So if we try X264, that's basically your processor. But if you use NVIC, NVENC, or I believe some other uh, codec used by AMD, use it. All right. Also, I suggest you guys have to use max performance. Uh, with this, max performance or la low latency performance. It's, it, it, these two options are basically the best options. Um, Alright, so let's see here. So we are done with this. This is the settings that you need. Um, if we go down to... Uh, you can also... The thing about it is that... Um, you also have to delete your um, your OBS cache. So all you need to do is just go straight, go to general, press showcase directory, and what you need to do is to go straight to cache, and you just click, you just uh, select all of this, and you just right click, and you um, it should give you a delete button. But um, my mouse isn't working for right clicking right now. You just right click and you press delete, and you will see a significant disc difference. And processor usage but this is not all so the second thing we could do we have to download a software we have to download a software called Prio hold up I think some parts of my keyboard is not working because this is a very old keyboard but we just type in Prio and what does that does is that it's a process priority saver right here right here um, it's a it's a very very small software. If you have a 64-bit, you download. If you have a 32-bit, you download this option. What it does, it basically saves your process priority. So when I have slobs on, hold up. I guess Task Manager doesn't want to work right now. Okay, there we go. So you just press the Task Manager, right? Um, and we go straight to Streamlabs. All right. So as you can see, Streamlabs is actually taking more CPU usage than OBS Studio itself. And o OBS Studio is basically the most responsive 
um responsive streaming program it's really good um so what you need to do is to set the cpu priority and you go straight to low and then you have to press save priority right there uh i think it should be checked but that's actually prio's job it basically saves the cpu priority so you set all the way to low and um, your cpu usage will be reduced a lot significantly now something about the affinity now in order to set the affinity the problem with the prio software is that it cannot set on um, save the affinity um the only program that can actually save affinity is basically process lasso right here you could download it um off um from google let me uh type that in so you guys can actually know so you just go straight to google or any other web browser and you just type in process lasso so we just type that in there we go process lasso and you just press that right here it's a free software I don't think you have to pay for anything but when you go straight to process lasso you look for the program the program that's bugging you and you can change your um your affinity so let me just see here alright so you have so you go straight to um, streaming lamps OBS by going to active processes and you go straight you could check out the priority class if you want to so when it says by current you can only change it but in the next time when you open up the software it's going to go back to normal but if you go to always um and you just press idle or something like that that's only for a cpu priority but we're looking for uh, affinity so in order to change the affinity we change current to cpu zero and we change always to cpu zero now what it means by CPU zero is that we're only using one core of our processor. Our processor is a quad core. All right. What I like about Process Lasso is that it actually saves your processor affinity so that um, Streamlabs Labs OBS can actually use one core of your processor. Because just look at the CPU usage right now. That's 43% utilization. Like most of it is from Streamlabs because Streamlabs is I'm not gonna say it's bloatware like it's just bloated but they gotta optimize it for for like um for like um certain processors so if you check out the affinity right it's one it only uses one processor and it's really good I suggest that you guys save the affinity all right guys it's a very it's it's really good. It doesn't degrade your um your um streaming performance, but if you but if you have Streamlabs and you love its overlays and stuff like me, I do love their overlays and widgets. But uh but this is just a simple tutorial for you guys to actually help you to reduce CPU usage because just look at it, like it just munches up memory usage. Well, to be honest. It seems that OBS Studio munches more in memory usage than a uh, processor, but if you look at look at this, it, it just uses okay, it just uses 20% right now. Now, before when I um when I used it, when I actually figure out um uh, a solution to it, um it used to be about like 40 to like 60, 60 per 40 to 60%, and now it just went down to like 20, 24, and it's really really good. Um, also, another thing to help you off your process if you actually need to like make it faster, um, you could just go straight to power and sleep settings, right? And when you go straight to power and sleep settings, what you can do is that you can change it to best performance, or you could go straight to additional power settings. You change to power plan, change advanced power, um, go to process power, processor power management, go to minimum processor state, and change it to 100%, and you're fine. So that's how I get to uh, do better, more lagless streams. But there are still problems here and there. But uh, believe me, if you do this with your processor, um, it, um, your stream might become lagless, and there shouldn't be any problems because when your CPU goes 100% utilization, the stream will actually like lag a lot. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys like this video, you can leave a thumbs up. And if you want to consider subscribing, click the notification bell icon and never miss any more videos. So thank you guys so much and I'll see you on the next video. Bye everybody and have a great day.